Hello everyone. I'm just getting some things uh, settled here while we wait for others to jump on. should probably clean this mat that's kind of the day i'm having here i should have i should have i should have um you know today we're just gonna work with it if i sound a little nasally it's because i'm not feeling well but we'll jump all into that in a little bit so i think right now would be a good time to get started hey everyone it's tiana from the maniology team here with our weekly live Every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, you can find us here on another nail stamping journey. Whether it's a tutorial, technique, hack, or a clean, a little brush up, we're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday, not getting too bogged down, or hope you guys did all your shopping for the upcoming holiday. I heard the stores are nutty crazy right now. So hopefully you guys got your turkey or whatever it is that you guys cook. Potatoes for mashed potatoes. Whatever it is, I hope you guys are prepped. <clears throat> so again, I'm so sorry if I sound a little nasally and congested. Um, I got sick again. This, it's like fall hit and then all of a sudden it's like come at Tiana for sickness. I swear, I've had fever, it seems like almost every week. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys can bear with me and my, my lovely scratchy sounds. <clears throat> I have my water here if in case I get into a coughing fit. But again, thank you so much for joining me. I see here we do have a question, so feel free to add in your comment. What is your favorite winter manicure design? I want to hear from you guys. And um, let's see. There, I was wondering where my live chat was. Now I can see everything. I keep my computer in front of me so I can see the conversations while I'm trying to focus on talking to you guys, doing the manicures, and also paying attention to my computer. It's a, a multifunctional situation here. I do have a few reminders before I jump into today's theme, which I'm sure you guys are all excited for. Um, of course, subscribe. Your support on Maniology Live means so much to us. So if you can go ahead and subscribe, you love if you love our videos, um, if you love the content, if you know somebody who loves nail art, definitely subscribe to us. We really appreciate that. If you have any comments um, about any future videos you would like to see from us, definitely write that down too. We would love to hear your thoughts. <clears throat> and if you haven't heard already, or if you haven't checked your newsletter, please do. Um, so Maniology is running our Black Friday sale. It is going on now. We uh, started early and um, so it's currently going on. You get save 30% off our websites. Um, I said websites sorry, website at www.maniology.com. Go ahead and save 30% off um, with BF30. So you can go ahead and save yourself 30% at the checkout. Some exclusions do apply, um, like our subscription and merch. It doesn't apply to that, but you can go ahead and save a whole bunch on nail plates, polishes, any type of nail art and things of that nature. So you want to Go to our site after the live, rush on over and pick up your gifts there. And <clears throat> I also wanted to mention, if you guys haven't noticed, the 23rd lands on Thanksgiving, Happy Turkey Day, Friendsgiving, whatever it is you call it. And we will be off that day celebrating with our family and our friends. So... I just wanted to let you guys know, yes, the 23rd, we will be releasing our new Manny by Me. And if you are a fan of our unboxing videos, we will actually be releasing it on the 24th, which is Friday. So on actual Black Friday. Um, and it's going to be a pre-recorded one 
just because it is kind of like the holiday weekend and um yeah we just wanted to do a pre-recorded for you hopefully dev and i can get together um but that is the plan <clears throat> so you guys can look forward to that the manny by me unboxing going live but it's pre-recorded but it's going to be at the same time at 1 30 p.m hawaii standard time on friday the 24th okay did i say everything i needed to say okay <clears throat> This congestion has me heart like having a hard time breathing. I'm over here like just huffing and puffing. Oh. Yeah, it's it's rough out here. I swear fall was just like, yeah, let's kick Tiana's butt for sickness. I hope the rest of you are staying well and healthy. Take your vitamins, do everything that you need to do. Cuz this is no joke. It's just been ravaging my family. I'm just going around and around okay so today i figure i do something that is like it seems to be everybody's favorite kind of like winter theme which is snowflakes and if you haven't noticed honestly you can go type in snowflakes on our search engine and you'll notice that we have a lot of nail plates on snowflakes um a lot of really cool designs but you know <clears throat> Although it's nice to like pick and choose and just like grab all of these nail plates, some of you might have all of them and some of you may not. So, you know, I decided to kind of limit the snowflake plates and I will be using actually only two that have snowflakes on them um, in hopes that hopefully you have it in your arsenal. And if you don't, it's currently on the website. You can go pick it up. You can pick it up for 30% off if you want to for our Black Friday sale. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, and yeah, let's just get started. Again, I decided to, to do this because, you know, snowflakes, they're so pretty. It's such an elegant, um, an elegant design. You can fancy, fancify it. I know that's not a word. It's Tiana's word um can make it as fancy as elegant or as casual as you want to so you know i'm sure in today's tutorial you can find something that uh suits your fancy let's see i feel like i'm missing a lot of these comments yes it's flu season my goodness <clears throat> i know it was so bad because um so I feel like me and my son, we've been hitting like sick tag each other. And last week I had to pick him up from his, uh, what do you call it? His field trip, which really was sucky. I was looking forward to him, you know, enjoying his field trip, but, and look, I have snowflake scraper cards, just perfect. So I felt really bad for him, you know, but that's okay. Just trying to keep each other well. Yes, I'm notorious for making up my own vocabulary. And you know what? I'll be completely honest. I had ideas for today, and then my ideas didn't work out. So you know what? Today is just going to run with Tiana kind of day because, yeah, <clears throat> we're just we're going to run with it. I have my tips that I've kind of pre-done here. This one, the magnetic part fell off. And I'll kind of tell you what I've done here, you know, as we go through. And you know what? Let's just make a start. I had some pretty simple ideas. And let's go with um, this kind of mod, simple idea concept that I had. This right here is just using a sheer black. Now, I only went with one coat. And the reason for that is because I wanted you to see lace we had this in one of our manny by me's um says the date here this was in 2001 <laughs> and this was just a sheer black now i wanted to do kind of like a black on black type 
of uh, look. Let me go in a little more. So something kind of modern. And I just kind of wanted to quickly show. I feel like, um, you know, with shears, they can tend to get a little streaky. So I wouldn't recommend when using a shear to really go over the same area again because it gets streaky. So I'm going to stay with just two coats. I feel like that's pretty even. It looks pretty even. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and let that dry before I continue. Megan says she loves lace. It's one of the top faves. That's awesome. I feel like there's a lot you can do with this. I think, you know, the main idea that I come up with is lace. But in this case, we're going to do snowflakes. So if you don't have this and you need a black shear, this is a really good option. This is part of our regular polish line. It does not snap, but a lot of cool ideas for a base. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and let that dry. I'm going to switch out this stick because that's going to be a pain for me to go back and forth. Sorry. Let me just do this really quick. And don't worry about the catching the lives. I do often see comments about that. I know many of you guys <clears throat> want to be a part of our live and that's okay. You know, if you can't, this is going to be on our um, channel right after. So you don't have to worry about missing out and also if you didn't know if there's something you missed you can go ahead and rewind this as well in real time okay i hope that's coming in clear for you all okay should be it's like tacky but dry enough so let's go ahead and stamp. So again, I wanted to do kind of like a modern black on black look. I'm just gonna go in with our straight up black here. And today I have plate M338. Perfect plate. I think this is called Snow Day. And what a perfect plate. You get so many different sizes of snowflakes. So you can create your own design. You can take one of these designs, super, super easy. And I'm just gonna keep it simple. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and stamp this design. You know, I'm always looking for something that has an instant wow factor with not a whole lot of work. Sometimes we don't have time for that, especially a week like this where we have a lot of prepping for a holiday or something who wants to do that right so here's my pickup perfect perfect pickup let me know in the comments if you love this plate if you have it in your arsenal already it's just a good plate to have and there you go simple if you wanted to, I can see this also being turned into maybe a French. You could also do like a black French tip and kind of keep that black stamping with the sheer background too. That would look really nice. But here you go. Look number one, done already with a sheer black and black stamping. Okay, where is my... <clears throat> I really need to get a new sticky stamper station. It is one of those things that you can't, I can't be without. But lately, I've been forgetting to get a restock on my pages. That's okay. Thank goodness for scotch tape. Okay, so here, with my next look, here's what I had in mind for this. Bring the color. Why would I do that? 
But he... It's okay. I'll go get it. So I wanted something that had a lot of thick glitter. So I went ahead and did like three coats of gleam onto the surface of the nail here, okay? No silver on the base, just a whole bunch of glitter. So you can see how densely packed this glitter is. And I noticed it actually has some black glitter in it too. So I kind of liked that little detail. This is a beautiful kind of hollow glitter, chunky glitter. And this is Gleam P124. And what I wanted to do was put a color over it and then stamp over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sheer. I'll be right back. Excuse the coughing. Okay, so here I have um, part of our rainbow rainbow splash line. This is poppy seed, and I wanted to see. Honestly, in my head, this works a whole lot better. Um, but I'm hoping that it has the effect that I am looking for. But I wanted to paint. It does. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <gasps> okay, I wanted kind of like a ruby slipper look, and this is totally turning out the way that I wanted it to. Okay. Okay. So that look just transformed and I'm super, super stoked. Give me some hearts if you guys love this effect so far. I'm really, really happy. This is how I had, <clears throat> had it in mind that it would work. I love that. Now we have to let that dry because we don't want to be digging into the polish. And I am going to let that sit. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I don't even want to stamp over it. I just want it to look like that. Yeah, I'm kind of in love. We'll just let that sit there. Okay. We got to move on. Because then I'm going to be like, I need to work on it. And, you know, impatience is just no good. Devin understands because we're both very impatient. So we're just going to have to let that sit. <sighs> okay. Let's go ahead and do another simple one. So this, <clears throat> you guys are probably looking and being like, oh, uh, what color is that? So this is actually not a color we have. I decided to go ahead and use a color from a collection that we did have. And I purchased, I don't think I, I, I can't even remember if I purchased this year to be completely honest. Um, so I had painted using a calcium one coat of our calcium rich milk base coat which is like this really beautiful um opaque calcium base coat if you didn't know we have it we do have it and after that dried i went over with ilnp this beautiful color called fairy floss and i went over two coats and this is it's perfect so now let's go ahead and stamp over this with a cute design. Okay, the next plate I have here is M418. <clears throat> let's see. I really like these like cascading ones. I, I know I've used this design before, but let's use it again because it's a pretty one. Okay, let's see. Today we're definitely gonna be doing a whole bunch of white stamping, cause why? Because snowflakes, but I think it just looks pretty. Okay.
Now I know I'm not gonna pick up this whole design, but I'm just gonna do the best we can. There you go. Now I wanna hang this kind of like garland, <clears throat> cascading down the nail. It's pretty. And I think I have to pick it up again. Okay. So we want it to kind of have a swoosh, swoosh look. You guys like my sound effects? So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the plate and do this all over again. So we can kind of have it cascading down there. Everyone say hi to Dev. She is also online with us today. If you haven't already. <laughs> I think it's so easy to get caught up in whatever it is that we're doing. Okay, so there I go. Have another really beautiful pickup. And I'm going to bring that kind of down, cascade it down here. Kind of looks like a tree a little. I'm going to get the tip here. There you go. That looks cute. So it looks like it's kind of swoosh, 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 cascading down the nail. Should I go again? I'm trying to see. I'm gonna attempt fate here because I feel like that part is kind of bare. And I don't want to stamp the whole thing. I just want a little bit. Okay. So I leave just like the little area. There you go. Cute, simple, impactful. The kind of manicures we like. Not everything has to be a, um, <clears throat> you know, difficult, difficult, or what do you call it? with reverse stamping? Reverse stamping looks beautiful, but sometimes manicures don't call for it. So here are the two designs we've done so far. Really, really cute. Let's see how our red is doing. Okay. It's, it's dry. I don't want to stamp on it too early because I don't want to be shifting the underneath. Oh gosh, this is, I don't crave red nails, but I think I might. That looks pretty. Sometimes you need simple. Yes, definitely. And I am definitely not opposed to simple. Just like today, honestly, like if we're being real, real, my nose is running. It looks redder than Rudolph's nose, <clears throat> you know? And even though it's like I try to be cute, wear some makeup, so I look, you know, put together and presentable for the day, it just doesn't work, you know? So we gotta do, keep it simple. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I don't want to stamp over this. This looks too pretty. Okay, but we have to because that's the idea, right? Okay. What do you guys think? I think stamping white would be best. Let's see. I think these cascading ones are really, really beautiful. I'm really digging this line right here. I know, Nelly, that red does look so juicy. 
the ornaments actually i was kind of looking at these wreaths too these are really cute and if you didn't notice they have snowflakes they're wreath snowflakes this is like a, an ornament with snowflakes in it <clears throat> super super cute Let's see. Tea has me craving an apple. <laughs> it's, I'm trying to see. It is top right big snowflake cascade. This one right here. This is the one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. You know what? I was eyeing it out too. And we'll do it cascading down just like that. Or the center with the curtains. You know, the thing is with... Uh, you know what? This is cute too. How about I use this on another design? I don't want to... Yeah, I want to use this too. But let's do the cascading one. This one. And what do you guys think of silver? I'm going to go in with pewter which is our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful silver. I need more tips. Sorry, <laughs> it's like, it says you need more tips, T. It's like, uh, nail tips? Very, very nice. So you guys want to be with here with me all day then. <laughs> you guys want to see more tips. Oh, this is so pretty. Good choice with the silver and good choice with the design. You know, honestly, I work, I tend to work best when it's like not off the cuff and I have like a general idea going into it, but Today is a little off the cuff. Maybe I should do this with you guys more often so you feel like there's a little more input. Or maybe, yeah, maybe I should start doing that <clears throat> more impromptu style. What do you guys think? Okay, so, so far, here is, here's the designs that we have. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The next one I have is this gorgeous blue and I used as the base is Kai, which is this beautiful metallic kind of, um, looks kind of like a royal blue, like a metallic royal blue, very beautiful. And I wanted to go ahead and stamp one of our moonbeam colors. So again, you guys pick one, two, or three. So this one is gonna have more of like a blue tinge to it. This one is gonna have, I'm, I'm sure you can kind of see like a pinky, purple. This is gonna be like a gold. So what do you guys think? One, two, three. I'm thinking blue on blue, but honestly, any of these could go. <clears throat> two oh you know what sorry i saw a if you guys are wondering about 418 if you have picked up our box of joy you would have this plate this plate is not on sale right now um, because it hasn't been released to the general public. However, if you did pick up the Box of Joy, which was our holiday limited edition uh, countdown box, then you would already have uh, received this plate unless <clears throat> you haven't opened it. Just know that you have it in your box. So, but this will be going on to our website at a later date. 
So sorry for the confusion. If any of you guys were looking, this plate is not currently on the site because it's not available to the general public yet. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. I feel like there were a lot of twos, ones. Ooh, I see a lot of twos. Okay, let's go with two. So we're going to go with this one. And you know what? This is the funny one because this is the one that doesn't have a sticker. So if you have this collection, reach for this color. But let's see. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use this cascading design. Or this kind of curtain-like design. The plate is going to be available, I believe, at the beginning of December. Um, don't quote me on that, but I believe off the top of my head that may be the, the release date. For those of you who are wondering. Okay. You know what, as I'm looking at this, I just don't feel like this is going to, um, this design is not gonna look very nice on here. Like I need more, maybe if it was like a square design, but for this one, the cascading, I feel like I would have to fidget with it a little bit and it's not looking very nice. Okay, I might have to scrap that. <clears throat> How's about we go with this plate? Okay, 338, sorry guys. We're thinking off the cuff here. I'm gonna do this design. I would like to use white, but since we already said this color, let's try and see. The thicker the design, I think the more payoff we're going to get. <clears throat> I think it was just that particular design that wasn't going to look very nice. Okay, I know it doesn't look like much, but I can tell, you know, this, this design would look really nice if it was, um, what do you call, with a matte top coat. But, but for the sake of the video, because you can't really see, we're gonna stamp over that with a white, because I agree. Kind of knew it going in, but you know, sometimes you just gotta experiment and try. It was a fail, and now we're gonna do it again. It's cool. Sometimes she works, sometimes it doesn't. It be like that sometimes. Take three, let's try this again. Beautiful, beautiful pickup. And there. Yes, I do agree. The moonbeams do, um, they work best on black. Sometimes they work good on just any kind of colors. Um, in general, I would also say creams too. <clears throat> they work best on cream colors, but you know, sometimes you just gotta give it a try. So there you go. One big happy snowflake on the nail. Oh, that red is so, mm, makes me so happy. Okay, so this, I just put a coat of that um, calcium rich, milky base coat. 
So this is what it looks like with just one coat, okay? And now I did that because I'm going to do like a little smoosh a cure, smudge a cure. And I'm looking for my sponge here. And <clears throat> I wanted to do kind of like a blue on blue. So I have frosty air here. And blue ribbon. So we're going to just go and add our dots to our sponge. Doesn't have to be precise. Just go and make your dots. Okay. Make some bigger. It's going to look messy before it looks good. That's just how it is. Now, what I would recommend doing, so I'm just gonna kind of shift this on the side, is blot it onto your lotus mat, just to kind of mix the colors together, and then put it onto the surface of your nail. It just helps to kind of make, <coughs> excuse me, melt the colors. Okay, so we're going to do this again. And I kind of follow the same pattern. So oh, there you go. Don't want any really hard lines. We just want it to kind of melt together. There you go. I have a kind of really soft blue gradient. And let's see, I see a um, question here. I have frosty air, which is that kind of darker blue and blue ribbon, which is the softer blue. If you have Manny by Me, you would already have the, um, the Manny by Me box collection, you would already have this color. This came in um, earlier this year. Okay. So let's just wait for that to kind of dry which it's dry already. And I'm going to go ahead and I wanted to take this design here just to kind of add a little bit of something else in the back. So let's see. Go in with white now this is going to be like a white white on white kind of stamp but this <clears throat> design is so simple doesn't really take up a lot of um color i guess in the you'll see what i mean it's not as a uh, color blocky as that other um what do you call a snowflake that I did? So you see how simple this argyle pattern kind of looks? I mean, is this argyle or just like a simple? It's not plaid either. It is kind of argyle-y. If you guys have a better word, please let me know. But you see how it's just really light and subtle. So now I want to go ahead and stamp some snowflakes on this. 
and if you guys didn't catch this is plate um m267 <clears throat> Or you know what? You know what? Scratch that. Why stamp? Why stamp? I have stickers. Let's use stickers. Let's let's change it up. See, this is what happens when I do off the cuff. It's literally off the cuff and we're just going to make things happen. I know Dev had, I think it was, was it last week? She did a really cute manicure. I think it was using this tree, which is so cute because it has kind of like a laser, laser kind of design with the hearts, really pretty. But it, this um, sheet of stickers also has really cute snowflakes. So let's go ahead and use that. <clears throat> now I have my handy dandy tweezer here so let's go ahead and pick up carefully these stickers lay so nicely and so flat and this tool picks it up like a charm and look at that it has this flat end here to help lay it down flat. And now I'm gonna show you guys just how flat and how thin that lays. Once you put your top coat, it's gonna be perf, perfect. There's one. <clears throat> Here's another, and you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna stick this, let's see, up here. And I'm going to mix, I am gonna stamp, because I want a snowflake that's smaller than this size on this design. There you go. Another sticker that lays super flat over the design. And now let's go with our white. And honestly, on any of the plates, but I feel like I'll just go with this just because. I want a design that's smaller than that. So let's go in with something maybe that size. Oh, that's a beautiful comment. I'm so glad I'm here today. We have a beautiful community. We do. For me, I believe, you know, in energy and stuff like that. I'm really sensitive to it. And good energy is just good energy, you know. <clears throat> and here I am talking and, um, ow, I didn't clean my other... And I almost got it. Didn't get it, and I almost got it. But yeah, good energy is just good energy. Genuine good energy. So thank you for everyone who, you know, helps to join in our community and genuinely loves being here. And <clears throat> loves spending their time here. You know, we totally appreciate it. Maniology, you know, we're a small company and, uh, you know, we value our customers, our audience. And thank you so much. It's really, we're thankful, definitely. You know, if I think there's a time, we can say we're thankful all the time. You know, I don't think there's ever too much thanks that we can give 
but <clears throat> if we're picking a week, this would definitely be the week, right? To share our thankfulness, what we're thankful for. Too bad we're not eating around a table because that would just be awesome. But okay. There. I feel like I want to add some dots to this too. like dots for snow. I love dots. I mean, it's so arbitrary. So it's, it's cool. We can just kind of add it as we need it to add a little more definition to the design. So there. Mm, cute. So we got some stickers, we have some stamping, we have some gradients, we have a lot of things going on with this. But for some reason, it still looks simple. I like that. Let's see, we have someone who said... Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm thankful for my life and my family and friends. Got that. I agree. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and um, top coat these babies. What do you guys think? Let's do it. I saw someone ask if they got a gratitude journal. We wrote about, um, we partnered with the Grateful Peoples and are giving out um, gratitude journals. And so basically there are some criteria that's needed like you need to be a business owner or know somebody personally where you could leave this because, of course, we wouldn't just want it being left at any place. But, you know, <clears throat> the idea behind this gratitude journal from the owner um, or the creator was um, that he left a gratitude journal at a coffee shop and the idea was just you know random people just wrote in it what they were grateful for and in the end when the journal was filled it got sent back to him and uh he would read like everyone's entries and stuff and you know i don't want to turn this into something that's really sad but you know he kind of kicked off this grateful journal um like his journey to write in a journal because his mom was sick, I believe. And um, <clears throat> it kind of left him a little bitter. And I think personally, I can kind of relate to that. And, um, but yeah, you know, we can always find gratefulness around us, right? Let's 
So anyway, if any of you are interested, I know there is a blog article um, on our website. So you can go to www.maniology.com. And at the very foot of our page, there is an area for blog. And you can go ahead and check that out. We also have a link to our app if you look under our blog articles as well. And you can read more about that and see if um, you meet the criteria to get a gratitude journal. I am grateful for this live. Well, I'm grateful for all of you being here with me to watch me do some snowflakes and just spending time with me, even though I'm not feeling well, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm thankful that I'm getting there. But uh, here's our look for today. For some reason, I thought this was going to be a lot longer, but you know, the easiest ones I think are always the best to you can get as creative and um, as you want to with any of the bases. But I think we did some really creative stuff here. So if you're just joining, don't worry, you can watch this from the beginning. But I love the sheer base. This is really pretty just because I think I was feeling pink today. But I was really attracted to this particular color and you can see the the gold kind of um, lightning that it has in it. It's really, really pretty. This, I'm in love. I'm going to have to wear red nails. Maybe once I'm ready to take these off, I might do something that's like this with a... That's just... Mm. Again, I don't crave red nails, but I just might now. And it's perfect for the season too. So I did silver with a red sheer... And that looks really, really pretty. Here we have a blue, blue, blue gradient here with some stickers and stamping. I love showing that you can get creative here with different mediums in your nails. And also something really simple, just an eye popping snowflake, which is very intricate in itself. <clears throat> Let me know which one you guys like the best. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, how do you just narrow down the four? <laughs> I like the cascading on four, and I can't help but the color is cute too. Or you could just say all of it. You don't have to just pick one. I'm always team black too. Can never say no to a black nail. Red is my inner Dolly Parton. I love that. So I like it. It has something subtle and something kind of vibrant and ooh la la, if that is your style. But... I hope you guys enjoyed today's live. Again, I thought today was gonna to be longer. Well, maybe it was pretty long. It's almost an hour. Didn't even feel like that. <coughs> My throat is definitely starting to get irritated now. But thank you so much for joining me. I think this is pretty much gonna wrap today's live up. Um, if you guys didn't hear the reminders from the beginning, really quick, Maniology is running our Black Friday sale. So hit that up if you want to save 30% with BF30. Um, the sale is running now. And um, we have a really good clearance going on right now. Some of those items are 60% off. But once they're gone, they're gone. We're not going to restock them. So definitely go check out our clearance. <clears throat> um can get clearance on our plates, some polishes, um, maybe some tools, things like that. Um, and what else, what else, what else? Oh, if you're a fan of our Manny by Me unboxings, which I'm sure you are, because that's why you're here, um, our video will be launching this Friday because the 23rd lands on Thanksgiving and we will be home. Well, I'm speaking for myself. I'm going to be at home stuffing my face. 
<clears throat> with my family. And well, hopefully, if I'm feeling much better by then, I have already been um, charged to make my stuffed mushrooms. So that's what I will be doing on my Thanksgiving is spending time with my family, much needed. And um, yeah, just appreciating that. So wherever you are, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Please join our next live, which is not going to be live. It's going to be a pre-recorded one, but <clears throat> I'm sure you guys can understand it's going to be the holiday week, weekend. Um, but I'm sure you guys are going to love the unboxing that's going to come out this Friday. So we are having two videos. Um, just one's not going to be live. But uh, thank you so much for joining us, joining me and Dev. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for everybody who's saying feel better. I hope to feel better soon. And hopefully I'm not all gravelly like this the next time you guys hear from me. But we will see you in the next live. And uh, take care. Bye.